Hi everybody, Amelia here from the Flourishing Center and I'm so excited to share this product with you and talk to you a little bit about my favorite topic in positive psychology which is mindset and the psychology of success. My dear friend and colleague, Rainy Jane, has built these mindset revolution cards and I think that this is the most brilliant application of positive psychology I've seen in a long time and I know I shouldn't call it brilliant because I should be more specific about the type of praise given the fact that we're talking about mindset but I really am truly blown away by this product and by these cards and so I want to take a moment to talk to you about what is mindset what is growth mindset, what is fixed mindset, and why I think that these mindset revolution cards are amazing for any person that you know that has children, works with children, teens, tweens, adolescents, uh, young grade school children, anyone can benefit from it. I've benefited from it and it is a card game and the game has been so fun to play and it's going to give me an opportunity to share some positive psychology with you. So let's get started. First is what is a mindset? So a mindset is a set of beliefs that we've taken on. We're not born with a mindset. We develop a mindset. And we can think of a mindset as being made up of many different beliefs. And beliefs are made up of many different thoughts that we've had. So if you want to shift a person's mindset, you have to shift their thought patterns, their beliefs over time, and therefore their mindset. In particular, Dr. Carol Dweck has identified two different types of mindsets that people can hold about something like their capacity. One of which she calls a fixed mindset and the other one is a growth mindset. So in my hands, I have some of the fixed mindset playing cards that were created in this mindset revolution. Fixed mindset playing cards uh, say on them belief systems that people would hold if they were holding more of a fixed mindset. So some people are born with talent and I'm not one of them. I'll just have to live with that. Or I'm just not really that smart. Or back off. I could do it that way if I wanted. I just don't feel like it. Stop attacking. So even in just these three cards, you see that people who hold more of a fixed mindset tend to have more limited beliefs about where their capacity comes from. And therefore, they are more likely to resist obstacles. They're more likely to give up easily. They're more likely to avoid criticism or be really sensitive to feeling like they're being judged or attacked, even if a person just wanting to offer ideas or and how they can improve because part of that fixed mindset is a belief that either you have it or you don't or that capacity is something that you're born with as opposed to something that you build. The growth mindset cards on the other are belief systems that, that can embody an idea that intelligence or capacity ability is malleable. So things like the journey is never complete. I and those around me can find new ways to grow together or I can totally use this feedback to improve, or mistakes make me smarter, and failing makes me stronger. This idea that we can learn from our obstacles and learn from our challenges. So in this game, Mindset Revolution, the creators have put together four different types of cards. There are mindset cards. There are adverse uh, uh, what they call power cards, which are things that help children evolve. These are circumstances or things that happen to them. And then there are actually character cards as well. So this is Jingna, um, who is an athlete, versus Ethan over here, who is more into academic uh, type of characters. So there's athletic characters, there's academic characters. And here is where some of the cool features of this game came, come in. The rules are actually kind of challenging. As you play this game, it is a cooperative game. So you'd play it with someone else, but everybody wins. You take the musical type of uh, characters that you have, the academic characters, the athletic characters, and the artistic characters that you have. And those characters have experiences. And when they use their experience combined with their growth mindset, they evolve. So it's mindset revolution or evolution because what happens is these characters can learn and grow and you have to try to get through the whole game clearing your fixed mindset and building your growth mindset. 
So for example, here we have Ethan as an academic character who has a positive outcome that is academic. You read nightly for months to compete in the battle of the books. Now, even though the competition is over, you can't stop reading. It's become a true part of you. Combined with the mindset, I get out what I put in. If I don't work too hard, I'm not going to be too good either. So these cards are filled with growth mindset, affirmations, or belief systems combined with life experiences that could help these characters evolve. So I think it's a really, really super fun game. It's a challenging game. Our team was playing it at the Flourishing Center today, and um, we got in the zone with it. Um, it's also high, really, really, really affordable. I don't have any financial stake in this. I'm literally just so thrilled about this game and I can't wait to be able to share it with all the other young teens, tweens, children, and teachers that I know that are working with children. So it's just $15 to be able to download the print of this and actually print these out yourself. So no fancy packaging, no fancy shipping. You just print it off yourself. Um, I want to read to you a few more of the growth mindset statements compared to the fixed mindset statements and leave you kind of thinking about what's something that you've been challenged by lately. Um, something that is maybe coming across your path that may feel like a block or an obstacle. And what are you believing your, in yourself about why this obstacle is coming up for you? Are you doubting your capacity, your ability to handle the situation? Or are you staying solution focused around how you might overcome the challenge, how you might use your strengths to tackle the situation? So a fixed mindset belief might say, I'm a natural, I don't need any more practice, which if you were to face an obstacle and it's asking you to do more or to practice, this might be a little bit difficult. However, holding more of a growth mindset, my brain is a muscle. The more I work, the more work I do, the stronger it gets. Or let me find a new strategy and make be next time will win. And holding more of a growth mindset when you're facing these adversities can be so helpful because one, our thoughts become self-fulfilling prophecies. If you tell yourself that you can't do it, well, then you'll be right because you won't put any energy in to trying to make it differently. So I encourage you to explore what are your beliefs that are coming up for you around that obstacle or that roadblock. Um, check out Mindset Revolution. We included the link inside of this video or the newsletter. Um, check out the rules of the game at the very least. Super fun to play. Um, and use this to help yourself evolve your mindset or revolutionize the way that children and teens and adolescents approach their mind mindsets as well. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks Gozen for creating this amazing resource and we hope to hear from you soon. Bye everyone.